Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Transfiguration of the Lord Parish as we gather for Mass on Friday of the 14th week of Ordinary Time. Blessed be the Lord. The shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Bless be the Lord, bless be the Lord, the God who mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night. For the arrow that flies by day, I need not shrink before the terrors of the night, nor stand alone before the light of day. No harm shall come to me, no arrow strike me down, no evil send me. Bless be the Lord, bless be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Although a thousand men have fallen at my side. I'll not be shaken with the Lord at hand. His faithful love is all the armor that I need to wage my battle with the foe. Bless be the Lord. The God of mercy, the God who saves, I shall not fear the dark of night, <clears throat> nor the arrow that flies by day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, my in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress in faith, we pray. Look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with your words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again shall they dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to to God. God. My mouth will declare your praise. My My mouth mouth will declare declare your your praise. praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My My mouth mouth will declare declare your your praise. praise. Behold, you are pleased with a sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth mouth will declare declare your praise. praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth mouth will will declare declare your praise. praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall shall proclaim your praise. My mouth mouth will will declare your your praise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for it will will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death and father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. More important than coming up with strategies of what to say and what to do as disciples in face of opposition, more important than that is to be rooted 
in the Spirit, to be rooted in God the Father. And when we're connected to God, His life flows through us, and we're equipped with what we need for whatever challenge comes ahead. I think sometimes we can focus more on kind of the secondary issues of what to do and what to say, rather than the primary role of a disciple, which is to get to know the Master, to come closer to Jesus. And it's this image of being rooted in Jesus that uh, struck me today as I heard the first reading. We can only bear fruit if we have roots that tap into nutrients. Um, in the, in the, the prophecy today, there's beautiful imagery of plants, of the splendor of God's creation. The Lebanon cedars which strike root, the blossoms of the lilies, the splendor of the olive trees, the fragrance of the Lebanon cedar. The church is supposed to be like this, like this garden full of diverse and fruitful and beautiful plants. But we can only be that if we're rooted, if we're rooted in the Lord, if we spend time every day allowing our roots to grow deeper and attach more to that source of life, who is God himself. Let us turn to our loving Father and give voice to our prayers. For the church around the world, may she be blessed and preserved in holiness through the graces and gifts of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations on earth, may God establish peace and security among them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering temptation. May the Lord strengthen their resolve and lead them to a purity of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Lord increase in us our trust of the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they enjoy eternal paradise in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the special intentions we raise up to God on this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, we offer you these prayers, knowing of your promise to hear us. We pray through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the, At the time, time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you, you come again. Therefore, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Edgar our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow is Saturday, so we will have confessions at 3, 3 to 3.30 at the side door of the rectory here at 14 Park Street. This will be our second week of Phase 2 weekend schedule. So the 4 p.m. Mass is outdoors in the parking lot here at uh, St. Mary's, no reservation needed. 8 a.m. Sunday morning at St. Mark's, reservations were taken up until 3 o'clock today. So if you're interested in going next week, call the office or email on Monday. 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning will be again outdoors here at St. Mary's, no reservation needed. And 11 a.m. Sunday morning at Sacred Heart, um, reservations were taken up until 3 p.m. today. Again, if you're interested in attending next week, then please call or email the office next week. Um, any other thoughts? We discussed a little bit about phase three and what that might look like today. So stay tuned. There'll be an announcement regarding a fireside chat. We really have only just begun speaking about um, phase three, what that will look like. And also pray for... I. I I think there are 14 of our second graders mm. who are now third graders, soon to be third graders, who will be making First Holy Communion either Saturday at the 4 or at the 9.30 on Sunday. So pray for them and pray for their families. This is, a, this is an exciting day, uh, an exciting time for them in their, in their faith journey. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.